Shouse battling to make the top three, and some people believing battling to make the semi-finals. So a very enthusiastic start from Canterbury Bankstown as Boyle was tackled, and now Fennick takes the full brunt of the Canterbury defence. Kelly going in strongly back on the, the South 22 line. Oh, Davidson was hit with an absolute Bobby Dazzler. My goodness, that was a tackle, and now this match has erupted into several brawls. One, two, three, four sections. Mario Fenix jumper has gone completely, and he's decided that he wants it out with Billy Johnston. Well, so seconds out. Mario Fennec has shed his jumper. Of course, Billy Johnston, a professional fighter. It was a fairly ferocious start, and uh, I think both sides are capable of handling that, and here's the result of it. Paul Dunn certainly got 10 minutes in the sin bin, and I think that Bill Harrigan's, yes, Mario Fennec's about to join him. So Paul Dunn and Mario Fennec. Fennec turned and said something to the Canterbury players as he left the field. And uh, he'll play it about uh, 10 metres on his side of the halfway. Billy Johnston is well over the advantage line. A run of 15 metres. Oh. And a penalty will go to Canterbury. Johnston, Lindsay Johnston, will be penalised. So this was uh, Billy Johnston making good ground. And Lindsay Johnston goes bingo with his right. Right in front of the referee. He must have thought that Bill Harrigan was due for our OPSM or somewhere. Well, he's gone for 10 minutes, so he'll he'll just about take up the seat that Mario has been keeping warm for a few minutes. Although I don't think Mario will be sitting down in there. He'll be walking around like, like, an like angry, a lion. Yeah, an angry lion. Let me out of here. Now the tap taken and gone to Steve Mortimer. And down goes the little fellow. Well, this is going to be a very important part of the game for South Sydney. Now down to 11 men. Canterbury will try to move the bat at the ball about. South have got to try and hang on till they get someone back on the field and match it with numbers with the Bulldogs. So Robinson plays it. I'm watching Phil Gould over on the blind. He's going up very quick. As a, oh, Canterbury put a succession of passes together and O'Brien goes in to score the first try of this clash between Canterbury Bankstown and South Sydney. Well, at last we've seen some football. There's been some huge tackling, I'm not denying that. But it's been sprinkled between the, the altercations and then Canterbury, they chain together several short passes, several well-directed passes, and O'Brien was the man who goes in to score right in front of one of our cameras, moving in from just outside the 22. He's missed it. And so in Tui's Monday Night Football, Canterbury 4, South's yet to score. Here's some fancy stuff by South Sydney. I don't know whether this is the time nor the place. As Boyle plays it now, it's gone to Gould, and Gould spins it back to Johnston, but they've had three goes at getting over the 22, and that's where the tap was taken from. Now it's with Gould. He decides to go himself, and he gets the pass to Coleman, and Coleman scores the try. Oh, Phil Gould... He uh, really opened Canterbury up. They, I, f I feel certain Canterbury said, don't worry about Gould, he's only going to be the ball distributor. And they hung off, and they hung off once too often. And this very talented uh, ball player, Phil Gould, he went in and between and gave it to Coleman. So Baker from right in front will get the extras, and South Sydney will... Almost uh, definitely take the lead. There it is, yes. And it's South Sydney now leading Canterbury by six points to four in Tui's Monday Night Football. Away now to Gould. De Jura, Baker. Baker puts the kick in. Picked up by Langmack. Penalty South. Pobji and Farrah having a bit of a dust-up. Watch Baker now. He puts the kick in and then... The referee ruling that uh, his progress was interrupted by one of the Canterbury players. Now here's the sin bin coming up for Mario Fennec. That's his second visit.
Some of these hits have been enormous. This has been the toughest opening that I've certainly seen. <laughs> Absolutely frightening. I mean, I, you know, first of all, you see two guys come together like that, and there's no noise out of them. You know, at least I expected a grunt or something, but you don't even, you don't even hear that. But it is, it is a tremendously ferocious football game out here tonight. I don't, anybody watching at home, I hope that the atmosphere is reaching them, and also the the high quality of, and high standard of defensive play. All right, as the scrum prepares to pack, Don Lane is with Les Davidson, the South Sydney player who's just come off. What'd you hurt, Les? Oh, just behind the knee there. I, I, I don't know what it was. I just fell back onto it in a tackle. Everybody's been talking about how hard it is out there. Is that hard stuff? Yeah, it's nice and hard, but our boys are right me out there. You know, we don't mind sort of play at all. Okay, mate. I hope you, hope you get, get well. Yeah, thanks, mate. All right. Les Davidson. Ball played by Coleman now. And this is Roberts. 10 metres out from the line as it goes from Fennick to Gould. A little juggle, and he decides to go himself. Phil Gould! Gould has scored himself. After making the first try, he scored the second himself. And again, I put it to you that Canterbury, they know Phil Gould's style so well that they have been tempted twice to hang off this big second rower, waiting for him to do his uh, his own thing with the football he's a ball player and they've given him just that extra amount of time to work in and he's he's absolutely zip zip them and he's put himself over for another four pointer well canary did hold off phil Gould. he came back looking for a pass to the blind side of the ruck he realized that he was in a hole and elected to go on his own but if you can just look here at the marker ian roberts did a good job on paul langmack here roberts was the man that played the ball langmack was at marker looking for Gould coming back he held onto him just long enough to open that hole up well, there he is, 28 years of age. He was with Warren Ryan at Newtown. He came across to Canterbury with the coach. Deep breath, and oh, it's an awful kick from Baker. So no change. But South Sydney leads Canterbury by 10 points to four. About eight metres short of the halfway, and South getting another replacement ready, Graham Hughes. Craig Weeks in 39, and he'll be on for Mario Fennec. That kick by Farrow is a good one. It's found touch on the 22 line, South into the ground. Well, Fennick, Fennick is not happy. Boyle snarling at him. And Fennick... Oh, jeez, he's really gone off here at, uh, at Belmore Sports Ground, Mario Fennick. There's the cameras on the other side of the ground, picking up, making his exit. He's limping, he's appealing to the bench. He's right in the center of the ground, 20 meters out. Johnston gives it to Dunn, then to Kelly. Kelly is held by Baker and Pobgy. 10 meters in from touch, 20 meters out, back to the left, and Langmack to Dunn. Dunn stands, looks to give it, but no runners. Ball played 10 meters out from the south line. Mortimer goes blindside, quick passing. Infield goes Frendo. That's a try for Canterbury. Yes, this young replacement. Who came on for Sandy Campbell at halftime? Glenn Frendo has gone in to score. The kick from Farrer again has gone across the face of the uprights and didn't have the length. So there's the score South 10, Canterbury 8. Two points apart on the table, and they're two points apart in the match. Weeks, the hooker, tackled 10 metres out from the Canterbury line. Away to Gould, he throws the dummy, decides to go himself, Coleman, Coleman throws a long ball, Pobgy's looking for the corner, Sigsworth's got him, too late, it's a try! Michael Pobgy has scored after Phil Gould had taken them on, turned it back, Georgie Peggins, a very happy coach, little Craig Coleman, he's learnt uh, his trade very well, he backed up Phil Gould, why wouldn't you, Gould is running white hot tonight, Coleman said, I'll follow you wherever you go, big fellow. He took the reverse pass, gave a long pass out to Pop G. He put his ears back, this rabbit. This will be one heck of a kick. Police coming in behind Baker now. He gets his kick in. It's got the height. It's got the length. That's a great kick by Baker from the touchline. And again, George Piggins comes out with the hand clap and the smile. 16 to 8 in favour of the rabbits over the Bulldogs. Now Gould plays it back to Weeks. Off it goes to Coleman. He does a little bit of a dipsy doodle and decides to hold it himself. 
and then crash to the ground he goes under big Paul Dunn five gone for South what will they do here it's gone to Baker gets the drop goal attempt away that looked pretty good off the boot the referee likes it and it's a further point to the South Sydney Rabbitohs they lead by 17 points to eight Mario it's been 17 years since South Sydney recorded a win at Belmont outstanding performance tonight well today we proved that we were capable of winning, we are capable of winning the competition and I hope all those critics sit up and take notice today we played tough and we matched it with the Premiers, the championship side that have won the last, the comp the last two years. So I think we deserve a little bit of recognition after this. Certainly was a tough, hard first uh, 40 minutes, but the sides, uh, if anything, I think people were expecting them to uh, tie about in this last 10 minutes. Well, it was a tough uh, first half, and certainly we had a lot at stake on Saturday. But I thought our forwards come through, and uh, actually we got on top of the Canterbury forwards, and that's really what swung the game our way. I have to ask the question. I think everybody expecting it. Uh, any injury problems? Well, I twisted the ankle. Um, it hurt me a little bit, but I was always going to be good. I knew I didn't injure it seriously, you know. Uh, I was just a bit dirty that I got replaced. Probably I acted a little bit silly in that, you know. But I'm pretty happy the guys are going. I win it now. Okay, thanks, man. Thanks, man. Well, there he is. It takes a big man to admit that he was wrong, and I think that's what he was basically saying. I, I went on a bit silly. Baker goes for another drop goal. He struck it sweetly, but it's just wide. Over to Michael Hagan. He's tackled 12 metres out from the uprights. And there's the siren. And look at the jubilation on the South Sydney players' faces. Their hands went up. They jumped for joy. And uh, what a tremendous game of football they've competed in tonight. It takes two to tango. But South Sydney, they came here very much as the despised outsiders. But they've uh, certainly smacked the critics in the face with this 17 to 8.